So the library that we're going to use to create our GUIs and to do our graphics later on is ScalaFX. Now one thing about ScalaFX, at least at the time that I'm creating this video, it is not part of the normal Scala libraries, and therefore you're not going to find information about it on scalalang.org. Instead, in order to find information about ScalaFX, you have to go to scalafx.org, where they have various documentation, including a number of samples. You can also find the API, which is here, and they have a link to the GitHub, where you can download it and build it yourself uh, if you don't if you have problems with the downloads that I have on the website for my books and my classes so we want to go ahead and start writing our first GUI application and so I have created here a file called firstgui.scala and we're going to need to import some stuff. Now one of the things about ScalaFX, if we look at the API, there are actually quite a few different packages. You'll note they all start off with ScalaFX. And so we will have lots of imports in many of our uh, programs. For this one though, we only need one. Inside of ScalaFX.application, there is a type called JFX app that we need to use as it represents our primary application. So we'll import scalafx.application.jfx app. And then I'm going to create one of those. I'm going to call it app. And I will say it is a new JFX app. And we're going to put some stuff inside of here. But before we do that, I'll go ahead and write that I am calling a method on the application called main. And this takes an array of strings, which is normally the command line arguments. So I'm going to pass in args here. OK. Now, inside of the app, I need to set a single value that is part of JFX app. And that value is the stage. Now in this environment, a stage represents a window, like the one that I'm typing in. Uh, you can also have stages for dialog boxes. Turns out that JavaFX and therefore ScalaFX are also intended to compile for mobile devices like cell phones and tablets, in which case the stage would be the area that the application is going to run in. For this, we, are, we want to create a primary stage. So this is the stage, the window or whatever, that your, is the main thing for your application. So to do that, turns out that there is a type inside of JFX app called primary stage. So I created our new JFX app.primary stage. And inside of the stage, we are going to set one value at least for our first application, and that is the title. So the title that I'm going to give this is first GUI. And that's our first application. So we go to run this. I type in Scala and first GUI, and we have some problems with this. It turns out that because ScalaFX is not part of the standard libraries, just running Scala with the file name doesn't find all the libraries that we need. So this is where going out to GitHub, you can download it, you can build it yourself. I also provide jar files. Uh, but one thing you have to note is that the jar files have to match the version of Scala that you have on your computer. So if you run into any problems with versioning, then you might just want to go to GitHub and pull down uh, ScalaFX and follow their instructions for how to build the jar file. I happen to have a jar file on this system. It is located in my home directory, s star dot jar. That's an A, not an S. We'll see it. So I have in my home directory a ScalaFX dot jar. And when I run this, I can tell Scala to go looking for files in that jar file. 
by giving an extra option, hyphen CP is short for class path, and then I tell it that I want it to look in that file. And using that command, I can run it, and a window pops up. Here's the window that popped up. It says first GUI because that's what we set as the title, and it doesn't have anything inside of it because we, well, didn't do that for our first application. Hey, but we've made a window pop up. We've made a GUI. Having to add this option here every time is a little bit of a pain. The way that I am getting around that is I have actually inside of my bash RC because I am under working under Linux here my dot bash RC file has a line where I alias Scala FX and so Scala FX is short for Scala hyphen CP of that jar file so that instead of running this with just Scala if I run it with Scala FX it will automatically use that library and sure enough there's the window that it pops up. You can also add the jar file to a class path so that it will see it by default. Uh, there are many different ways to get the Scala command to see different libraries. You pick the one that works best for you. Uh, you can always just specify this when you run it. You can make an alias. You can add things to your class path. But you will have to have this jar file in order to run things for Scala FX and you will also have to have uh, it that jar file added into your class path in some way so that it will be seen when you run the programs.